Hello, Ilaria. It is fabulous to see you today. We appreciate you joining us on this momentous occasion, the Fragrance Day. And also, it is Women's History Month. So we're very happy that you will be speaking to us as a woman leading in the industry with a lot of experience, a lot of ambition, and a lot of accomplishments. Welcome, Ilaria. How are you doing today? Thank you, Linda, for inviting me. I am incredibly proud and humble to, to, to share this time with you. And thank you for having me in this important day and important month. Well, it's a pleasure. We have some questions for you, but one of the reasons we were so excited that you could join us today is we know that diversity, equity, and inclusion are paramount in all that you do, both at Firmanish as well as in your personal life. But before we get back to that, um, Sharnay Jackson is going to spend a bit of time asking you a couple of questions about what led to this moment and um, some very specific career questions. So Sharnay, take it away. Thank you, Linda. And it's such a pleasure having you here today with us, Alaria. Um, we are absolutely thrilled and happy Fragrance Day. So <laughs> I'm going to kick it off with the first question. You've had such an amazing, illustrious career. Describe some of your most challenging and most rewarding career moments. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you for the, the compliments on the career. I, I take it sure. very, very humbly. I don't know about that, but I'm happy you, you say so. Uh, I must say it's, uh, it's amazing how when I look back at my uh, career and life in general, I remember very vividly all the exciting and happy moments, and I completely forgot the challenging ones, even though I'm sure I had many. Uh, so I had to, my mind needs to be refocused uh, on, on the challenges, uh, because naturally I go into, into, into the, uh, to the happy moments. For sure, uh, what I love the most, if I think back at my career, uh, I don't see achievements, I see faces of people. I see the faces of all the people who work with me throughout uh, uh, the 25 five plus years of, uh, of career, uh, I can vividly remember uh, the voices, the faces, the moments I share with the people. And for me, the biggest reward uh, is when I can promote uh, people uh, in their career, when I see people uh, in my organization growing. Um, very recently, I, I presented uh, um, in, a, in a perfumer's uh, uh, graduation, uh, and I, I, I gave the chance to some, some, uh, some students to become perfumers after a, a period of long training and effort. And seeing uh, these young people incredibly talented, achieving their dreams to become perfumers, has been a happy moment in my in my career. Uh, but in general, I would say everything related to people development is a passion and is a moment of reward. Maybe it goes back to me being a, a typical Italian mama that mm -hmm. I like to see my my kids growing. And I I, I I consider my my team members as part of my my family. The other part is I am um, uh, I am really rewarded by transformation in the business. I I, I love when yeah, you live a, a, a a change. You are the architect of a change. And in all the industries, I had uh, the pleasure to work uh, with uh, uh, seeing the change that you plan to do happening. And even better, when it's happening successfully, is a big reward. So I would say these are definitely people and see the changes uh, uh, and, and the disruption that I wanted to bring uh, being successful is a big reward. Uh, on the challenges, I would say I had the personal ones uh, and, and the most difficult one for me uh, has been uh, when I became for the first time mother, I have two children, uh, a daughter of uh, 13 years old and a son of nine. And uh, being a, a mother going back from maternity leave for the first time, uh, it was really, really a big challenge because I had this uh, sense of guilt of leaving uh, uh, my daughter uh, behind, especially when traveling. Uh, so that was a, a tough moment for my career because I reevaluated the priorities. And I've been lucky because I, while I made lots of choices, uh, I never had a ch the ch I never had to to make a choice between my uh, fulfillment, the fulfillment of my dreams, and my career with the family. I managed successfully to have both also thanks to a fantastic support system at home. Um, that was a challenge on a personal note. 
uh, I would say the other challenge uh, I faced uh, very recently was changing job uh, during COVID. Actually, my, my, I started working at Firminish, which is a very different type of career from the ones I had before. Uh, I started March 2nd, 2020. You do the math. Uh, 10 days after I joined, the world went into uh, lockdown. So that was incredibly wow, wow. challenging, especially because the industry was new. I knew nobody. And uh, in, in, in my team, in my global uh, organization, and I am a people person, I, I need to, to work with the people, uh, and, and that, was a, that was a big challenge. But uh, other than that, I need to make an effort to remember the other. And I think that set really segues into what advice would you give um, a young person that would like to pursue a career in the fragrance industry? Well, let me start by the advice I give. Everybody wants to start a career or start doing uh, any job. Um, I, I believe in the power of the three L's, I say. Love, learn, and legacy. And that's what I keep repeating uh, to everybody. You need to love, love what you do. Uh, love doesn't come easy though. Uh, it, might, it might be at the beginning of a new job, you love it, but then you have uh, uh, moments of, uh, uh, of difficulties. You need to fuel love and passion. Passion doesn't come for free. Love doesn't come for free. Uh, you will have lots of hurdles, lo lots of difficulties. What's important is that you make a conscious effort to see the bright side and your passion and fuel your passion. And then career follows love normally. Uh, the second one is learn. Um, I truly believe, especially in the world of today, um, there is a, a big advantage if you keep on uh, learning every day that what you what and, and move from uh, an attitude of I know it all, I know how it's done into an attitude of learning, relearning every day, learning new skills, learning new way of solving problems. And if you keep this learning attitude on, especially if you grow even confidence, people tend to learn less. In reality, this is the moment where you need to learn more. And especially to fuel the need of agility and adjusting to new reality. Mm -hmm. And the third one is the most important for me is legacy. You, you need to be able, uh, when you do a job, to look back and, and be proud of what you left behind. It could be on your people, on your organization. It could be on the business. but It could be a fragrance you created. Uh, but you need to have a legacy and, and be proud of that legacy and have that legacy as your lighthouse as you keep on working. This is true for any type of job. Specifically, for people who want to join this industry, I would add uh, an additional important advice, which is uh, be resilient. Because I've seen uh, that the effort, the passion, the long hours in creation, uh, sometimes go, going nowhere if, if you no. lose a brief or you lose a project. Uh, uh, and, and sometimes it's unfair, sometimes it's fair. But regardless, you, you see the passion and, and you need to keep ongoing even if uh, uh, things don't end up in, in the way you want it in the creation. And the creation process is a very complicated, not linear process. So it requires really uh, resilience and, and determination to keep on going. And I'm very respectful of uh, the creators in this industry because I've seen their struggle, I've, I've seen their celebration, and it's uh, very intense and emotionally uh, heavy. The other advice I, I give is uh, be bold. Creativity requires uh, being bold, being courageous in pursuing the idea. Uh, the idea might not be uh, democratically accepted or accepted by, 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 by everybody, but over time, uh, if you look at the best, uh, success, most successful launches of fragrances, if you look at fashion, if you look at art, what was not accepted at the beginning then became a blockbuster, go for it. If, uh, if you have an instinct and if you really feel in your, um, in your body that what you are creating is up to something big, go for it. Be bold. Try to push uh, creativity um, over general acceptance. Thank you. And I think the other part, the other question I want to add, I'm, I'm loving these three L's. That's going to be a new mantra around here. I love yeah. it. Um, how important do you believe that mentor, mentorship and advocacy are in career development? Well, if you, that's a, an excellent 
uh, excellent question. If I look back at uh, uh, the reasons of uh, uh, why I, I believe I made it through uh, happily, I, I wouldn't say successfully throughout my career, but definitely I, I had a happy career is because of the support I got uh, and amazing mentors. And uh, I had men, women mentors. What made these mentors fundamental to me were they believed in me in many occasions, much more than, uh, than uh, how, how much I believed in myself. And they pushed me also in exploring uh, uh, learning opportunities, jobs opportunities I never even considered for myself. So uh, my point is when you see yourself through the eyes of others, and we are you know, when you are supported by mentors who generally care for you, which is an important criteria to, to, to choose an, uh, a mentor or become yourself a mentor, then you can only have an enriching experience. It's important, though, that mentorship is authentic and real. Uh, mentorship is not about pleasing your mentee. Uh, mentorship is about guiding and uh, showing the tough truth. And as I grew uh, the ranks in, uh, in the organizations, uh, you find yourself, I found myself alone. Uh, more and more you go up, you, you miss uh, your peers. Uh, and then when you are alone, you don't see the truth sometimes. So you, you see a filtered reality. The role of the mentor is really to keep you honest uh, and to see yourself from outside. And sometimes it's a, a very tough mirror to, to look at. So that's, that's the advice is always uh, try to, to look for mentors, but mentors who can help you uh, and can be honest. Uh, and definitely advocacy is, is critical. Uh, I, I would say that uh, we do very little as women in terms of advocacy. I would really, really encourage uh, all of us uh, women to make an effort to become ourselves mentors and advocates for other women, uh, not because we, we want to make this uh, any sexual uh, war or battle. It, it's really because normally we don't do it. We feel ashamed uh, of advocating or asking for advocacy, but this is a part of, uh, of, 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 uh, of the way things work. So uh, I, I would say it would be nice that each of us women take a, uh, an effort, make an effort uh, every year to have three mentees and, and create a network. Wow, Alaria, I'm learning right now. I, like Charnay, love the inspiring three L's. I think everyone who's tuned in today absolutely loves fragrance. We're wildly, hysterically passionate about it. And every day, no matter what our age, no matter where we are, if we can learn something, mm -hmm. it's the greatest gift that we have. And your third L, which I just learned about legacy, um, sets me up exactly for the big question I wanted to ask you. When we met in person um, over the last six months, one time, the thing that I took away from that was your extreme passion for the number one priority at the Fragrance Foundation. So to go back to it, no matter how many beautiful fragrances and all the creativity we do, I think the legacy that we want to create with you and our members is about diversity, equity, and inclusion. So I'm very interested to hear your response, though I know overall how dedicated and passionate you are. Why, Ilaria, is diversity so important in this fragrance industry? And why is the Fragrance Foundation's hashtag Fragrance Forward TFF initiative so important? Well, Linda, I would say I mean, there is no reason why it's, it's, it's not important. It's, it's fundamental. Uh, diversity is an obligation to represent society, right? So we, we need to represent the society. And uh, as society change, uh, diversity will change and what the meaning of diversity will change. So I am a true believer. Uh, we need to be a mirror of society uh, and evolve uh, to represent fairly in an equitable way our society. And today it's not the case in this industry, which is surprising because this is an industry that has been uh, 
consumed uh, by, by women and uh, loved by women and where we have amazing women creators, uh, but still uh, diversity is not there, is not there in the management team. Uh, there is no diversity um, in, uh, across uh, geographies uh, um, in terms of ethnicity. So I see many, many, many gaps on diversity and it's fundamental that as leaders in this industry, in each of our role, we need to push for it and force it. Uh, and sometimes you need to force the starting from specific hiring needs uh, and focus on, on diversity as a criteria number one. Uh, I hope one day this will no longer be a criteria because we reach the level of parity. I'm surprised also we don't have diversity because it's very well proven by millions of studies that diversity improves business results. So it's in the interest of of the business, not only that, improves creativity because by the tension, diversity and different point of views, creativity is, is increasing uh, and, and creativity is the lifeblood of this industry. Uh, so I really don't see, I see, uh, I see no reason why we shouldn't push uh, for diversity. It's an effort uh, because some, uh, starting from uh, the, the, the schools, there is not even equal level of representations there, uh, not, talk, not only from uh, uh, from uh, a sexual representation, but also from ethnicity representations, uh, from a country of origin representations, uh, so uh, sexual orientation, there is not at the base of uh, uh, of our recruitment, we cannot, we are not able to find yet the real, uh, the real uh, the diversity. So we ne we need to push it, and where we cannot, what we cannot achieve, we need to create, and we need to give the tools uh, to educate um, the underrepresented, uh, the, the people who are underrepresented by our industry. So I, what I would advocate is we should, as an industry, uh, talk and discuss how can we create the conditions for uh, all the underrepresented um, people to, to have an access to this industry and understand why there is no access. Alaria, those are very um, important words to us. And I think what you and I and Charnay have in common with our community is we're talking about it. The dialogue is in motion. We're having discussions but I always get back to we're women of action and it will be the actions that we take and the changes that we make that will really create the legacy, um, which is always going to be a reference for me about our really big fragrance forward TFF. From the day I met you and forever after Alaria, you and I are connected and passionate about this number one priority. So we appreciate your time today. We appreciate more so what you do every day for Firmanish and everyone involved in your company and in the industry to bring diversity and equity and inclusion out there and to make it a reality. So grazie mille for joining us today. We're so happy to see you and we look forward to seeing you in person, hopefully very soon. Grazie Linda for inviting. Thank you, Sharnay. Super, Thank super happy to be here and contribute, count on me. Thank we you. will. Thank you. Thank you.